What the f- Man, a 50k HK is almost all what dual wielding says, so motherfucker. I like the accent. Yeah, everyone turns into a black person when they're in. <laughs> Here's another 60. At your weird Oh wait, female. At your weird dual PvP, cause <laughs> but my main hand offhand weapons have more DPS than most people's two handers. And because in such a twitch fast environment as PvP, two hands seems even slower than it already is. It's nothing I love more than standing there waiting for almost four seconds for another swing so I can get enough phrase to intercept, or execute, or overpower, or whatever it may be that I need to do. Bitch. <laughs> Woman. Let's see, here's the next bit, 60. Ruffle, want to buy this guy's EP. Gotta love the trolls. Guess my 3k 1k hits. Oh wait, three times 1k hits while a dual wield makes 5 seconds making you dead compared to your 60 damage hits every 2.5 seconds. Roll on floor laughing! Oh no, he, he's, he's the guy with the biggest EP and he's posted his uh, CT profiles, he's obviously epic out. He's in the best guild in the server. Hey, jerk face! First off, I do just fine in PvP dual wielding K thing. I in fact consider druids an almost guaranteed kill. Second, remember who you're talking to, warriors. You really think you have a choice what we spec in PvP? If you aren't in a high end rating guild like me, you PvP with what you have got. I ended up with a couple of nice one handers and a really lousy two hander, ergo a dual wheel. I don't really have a real choice about it, do I? Why without frills and benefits has a spec based on what he has. Having said that, yes, I do weird in PvP, and yes, I'd tear your furry face off. Get the fuck out. Thanks. Here's my EP, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking well. See if I can find another. They all fucking the wise up. Let's have a look. Here we go. Fucking now the next thread. Dark Edge of Insanity. Moral Strike or a Fury Weapon. Help me on this topic, guy. I haven't really doubted that my Dark Edge that I have is doing more damage with Fury until I calculated some numbers. Blah blah fuckity blah. Estimated with Moral Strike. And here's my damage estimated with blood third. Surely this can't be right. Of course I get more white damage with fury. But in PvP, it's all about burst damage. I've always been told to use fury after 1k HP. Either my calculations are wrong, or something else. <laughs> if this is right, I may have to reevaluate my usage of the Dark Edge of Insanity. Cause, I have this weapon. I have a million other weapons, but you know. I got so many weapons I don't even want to do with them. <laughs> Hi, I'm a dumb bitch, and I probably play a female character when I'm a fat motherfucker sitting at home with my car. Arms have slightly better burst damage, even in PvP with great gear. But Flurry plus improved intercept plus guys? death wish are all very good and overall better than arms, I'm a Skip the fucking chitty. Hey, Bofa. Hey, my name's Hells Bovine, and I'm a motherfucking EP in bit. Look at my CT profiles, I can't be wrong. For burst damage, MS is obviously gonna be better. A thousand attack power plus is for weapons with low top end. If we ever see one, and I'll snatch it and stay my fury spec and try to get the proc more. Because I enjoy PvE more so than PvP. If you're only worried about PvP, MS is gonna be better. Because on top of the extra burst damage, you get with the awesome debuff, but obviously less white damage, less proc, and less overall rage. Here we go. Oh, guys, yeah, look, I could do simple motherfucking mass. I'm a genius. 
to get the equivalent of bloodthirst using this fucking weapon. You need ridiculous amounts of AP for standard condition. You fucking idiots. If you do this, you go 242 plus 160 plus whatever AP you have, which for me is, you know, 1200 because I fucking purple gear all over me. You know, you fucking wreck faces no matter what. You fucking idiot. Look at my CD profile. So yes, under most buff conditions, Mortis Strike will outdamage Bloodthirst. However, Figure in Death Wish and all this other bullshit that I'm not gonna fucking use because I'm a dickhead that doesn't even have this gear. Who knows how it'll come out? It's insane! What the fuck? Let's see the next fucking good. Crab, are you alright? No. Ah, oh, here we go. As my guild is progressing on Seathon, and I'm a fucking dick that has no idea about my class because I'm asking dumb shit questions in a fucking warrior forums. I'm trying to really optimize my warrior's damage output in PvE situation. I love Impale, but I think it's time for me to consider other specs to get a better and more consistent DPS. My old build was cookie cutter 1734, but this is my new one. Would this be a worthwhile improvement of my old build? Because I'm a dumb motherfucker who has all this gear that I supposedly have, which I obviously fucking don't. Because I'm asking a dumb shit question to dumb shits who are the only people who read this shit. Would it be worth it? To start off the fight, you switch from arms to overpower and back to Zerka. Whirlwind is up! There are times that you got nothing better to do so might as well get 10 raids. This is the shit I'm talking about guys. When I fucking post in a wire form, I want to only deal with the best. So when I see that there's a 60 carrier with fucking wrath gear in his avatar, I know that he's gotta be extreme. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the best. Here's the best bit. Fighting the beast. We're fighting the beast. Ilana from Juice and Storm Scout, who's obviously the best because he rolled a female orc warrior. <laughs> I've tested about all oh, possibly PvDP specs, and I believe with my 1734 with Impaled Jewel spec, it's the highest overall. You give up a lot, <laughs> improved overpower, improved intercept, but for pure PvDPS, this is the best. No other talents really increase your DPS that much. Some people claim improved Berserker Rage is valuable for 10 Rage on demand. While well, low gear levels, this is very useful, but once you have gear like mine, because I'm obviously geared through the fucking teeth, because my guild, Juice, obviously farms Seathon and Nax Ramus every fucking day. Once your gear hits this level, a certain level of rage generation is so high, you really stop gaining damage from more rage effect. Also, you wouldn't want to waste a global cooldown on Zerka Raid, since it could be used on Hamstring instead. Oh my. This is the shit I'm talking about, because I'm a motherfucking warrior master. Listen to me, bitch. I fucking purples <laughs> all over me, bitch. I'm still no more, bitch. Fucking warrior for him. <laughs> Thank it, well Alfie Poo. In for this. Get it, Alfie. Literally, I'm crying right now. <laughs> Was somebody recording that? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck? Alfie, tank, bitch. Oh, here we oh, go. Yeah. No, wait. Here We're we go. This is the best thread of all. Hi, guys. My name's War Mega from Grief. I'm Dagger Spy. Fury Warriors put out more damage than MS, right? Am I right? It seems to me that more damage. I can't spell lol. You equals your opponent dead faster. Fury's really starting to own MS, especially in the X pack. Notice how I put X instead of EX? Like, extreme! 
Hi, I'm a level 59 old, and I'm obviously the best in the fucking world, and I have an opinion on every motherfucker, because I'm in this guild that has 50 million letters and ends with flower. Burst damage is higher than steady damage in PvP. 50% minus the healing is bigger than all the debuffs in this game for PvP. You silly! <laughs> Can I have some free loot because I have a vagina? <laughs> Fucking hell, here's another card. <laughs> that concept works on paper, Charagon. But in reality, it's very feasible to get the amount of time needed for Fury DPS to do the job. Fury has a PvP utility such as Improved Intercept, a Second Break Fear, Improved Execute, and get this, Improved Berserker Rage. As for MS, yes it is very powerful, however, MS doesn't have half Power Word Shield or Blessing and Protection, which can both be used to heal you through MS. Meanwhile, a Fury Warrior's DPS can greatly pass MS, and 30 seconds of no fear in any stance is huge in PvP. And here's my man, Taya Fool, backing me up with the only word he said, Sir! In your face, Charagon! <laughs> hey, my name's Ironkilt, and I'm from Smallthorn, and I'm obviously the best motherfucker because I post all this long bullshit along with my CT profile that shows how epic I have. Three short, simple answers, my friend. First, utility. When you spec Fury to do DPS in a race setting, you lose certain, certain, fucking, I repeat that, helpful abilities, PvP, that are essential. <laughs> but I'm not gonna spell any fucking words right, because I'm a dickhead. <laughs> I.e. anger management, piercing hell, and most importantly, the ability to cut heals. Second, oh fuck, I misspelled it again, but I won't fucking correct it, because I'm covered in epic. Burst damage. To get to around 1,600 attack power, Mortar Strike will crit for way more than Bloodthirst. Also, and yes, I know Two Hand Fury exists, and it's fine Ray DPS spec, but most Fury DPS warriors, Jill will. And therefore, lose the burst damage they would normally receive from instant attacks i.e. Overpower, Wind Fury, Sword Spec Proc, Hand of Justice Proc, Oh shit, I misspelled it again, but fucking hell, I ain't gonna fucking fix <laughs> Third, your gear. Fury takes a lot of good gear, like mine, to really pick up. You need a ton of attack power, you need plus to hit, you even need a good chance to crit. You need very good weapon for your DPS to start to shine as Fury. That doesn't even include the stamina you need to survive in PvP. Most Fury Warriors DPS in AQ or 40 in Axe Guilds. Oh, another fucking typo! Yeah! That doesn't even include the stamina you need to survive in PvP. Holy shit, he actually copy pasted shit and fucked it up. Wow, this guy's bad. I've, I've seen anywhere from 3,500 to 4,500 PvP. Pretty ballsish for us warriors. However, since the golden ticket of arms is overpower and motor strike, two, not one, two, instant strikes based mainly on weapon damage. You can literally pick up a fatty, slow two hand weapon, a bunch of greens, and do fine. In short, it is possible to one face in PvP with fury, but if you're like me and you're extreme, it's merely a case of occurrence. MS will always be more common in PvP because anybody can grind AV, pick up a tough, and do decent. It's a crazy dedicated warrior with a great guild to be a good Fury Warrior in PvP. Dude, is there any more uh, we weapon versus weapon threads? I'm gonna have to farm. Oh god! <laughs> Fucking crow. Oh, <laughs> oh fucking stomach hurt. Dude, I'm gonna throw up my fucking dinner if you keep doing that shit. <laughs> oh god. Why don't you talk like that in raids? Like a black man? 
<laughs> like a very angry black man. <laughs> Like the very angry oh, black show sense. Yeah, I found a good one. <laughs> hey, my name's Divrick, and I'm from Cal de Rye on Medivh. <laughs> Watch out, I must be extreme to be on Medivh. Hey. I got an earth shaker last night in my guild's extreme MC run. I'm just getting into MC. I was excited about getting a chance at this weapon. However, two are serene around and I'm hearing it's not that good. Was it a horrible move to go for this? It's not really a bad weapon there, Diverick. But you know, if you click on my CT profiles, you'll see my extreme gear! You can't handle it! Yeah! See, man? If you were in a better guild like me, you'd have a better weapon. The Earthshaker is a piece of shit. <laughs> Depends on the proc, really. My name's Dynamite Jones. Really a toy weapon, but an upgrade from the IBS for show. I'm black because I said for show. So I'm serious. Oh, I'm serious. No, nah, man, I'm Tab. If I was better than that, I'd enjoy it. Loot isn't that big a deal. Everyone likes to play the game for their own reason. Hi, I'm Kurami. I'm a fat slut in real life, but hey, I could probably get free gold because I look like a hooker in this game. There are too many weapons out there with high DPS that are <laughs> dot 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 easily attained. You're obviously not in the good guild as me, because I just went up to them and said, Hey guys, I have boobs in real life. So they gave me a fucking Dark Age of Insanity. Yeah! Cool, thanks for the input, except for Kurumi. Where's the, where's the hate coming from? And the tough? It's out of the question because I refuse to grind rep and get exalted with AV. I play with my friends and they like to rage, so I can't fit both in. But the tough does look great! <laughs> hey! Clarifying? Whoa, what the fuck? God, these people are. Hey, I'm Dynamite Jones and I'm back with my opinion! If you can win a lot and or play quickly, AV rep is easier to grind. Sadly, I had to start one third of the way from Revered because of a computer situation. Dynamite Jones! What the fuck did you smoke today? Oh, I found it even better. Hi guys, I'm near level 50, and soon I can combine my Jazz Thrang and Sang Thrays for Souls Rays. An epic two-hand weapon. Oh, I'm almost sounding like a black man. Epic. Or I can keep the sword separate for dual wielding, and wait until level 52 to use Destiny. <laughs> If I use Soul Rays, I could turn a hot profit on Destiny, but not vice versa. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> Emote smiley face. <laughs> Hi, my name's Blue. Just get an ice bomb spear, noob. Then, once you get that shit, wait till you get against some fucking OEB in an MC guild, because anyone can do MC these days. Look at my CT profile. I'm epic down. <laughs> Dark Age of Insanity! MS of Fury, what should I go? Oh! <laughs> Here's my opinion, I'm a fucking level 60 priest, so, wait, 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 I got more epics, bitch! Fucking, I own your ass! Fucking sell that piece of shit, Destiny, and vendor the other shit, cause it's both as bad as each other, just get an ass bomb spear! <laughs> That's pretty representative of the Warrior Forums. From what I gathered from this post, she has both Jang and Sang and Destiny. 
I would go with Soul 3's at level 50 and pop a Crusader on it till after you sell Destiny. Soul 3's procs a lot regardless of what you fight, and Destiny a lot less. I have a friend who had the same problem, as well as a guilty. I told him Soul Rays is the way to go. Hi, I'm that priest slut again that has all the fucking epics, so my opinion counts no matter where I post. Oh, if you're too ham fury, Soul Rays is nice, but if you're MS, get an ice bob spear. Good luck to you, love heart. <laughs> Oh, well, I didn't think about factoring my specs into my weapon choice. Oh, should I go to have Fury or MS? What do you think? Hey, I just finished posting in this other thread about a dark age of insanity, and I totally know what to tell you. Two Wheel Fury is so much better than Two Half Fury, you're a noob! You're not level 60? No! You don't have a dark age of insanity? Oh, no! You should check out my CT profile. You're obviously not as good as this game as me, because purples means I'm good. So back up, delete your character, and just fucking kill yourself IRL. <laughs> <laughs>
Keep it extreme. Kickflip 360. Hi guys, I'm Desolation. <laughs> I must be extreme with this name. <laughs> Desolation. The Iron Rag dropped for me the other day. <laughs> extreme, huh? And I'm working toward farming the Arcanine. As soon won't be long before I get mine. I'm also curious as to how Two Hand Fury works. And with the hand of rag, would the proc lead to extreme DPS with flurry? He said that it's been proven many times the best two hand fury weapon, but why? Swing speed? <gasps> Damage bracket? The extreme proc? The fact that it's a mace? I don't see how any of this is better than say Ash Candy or Dark Hedge or Insanity. Any info you have would be great. Hey guys, I'm Armin! I'm a fucking priest, but hey! CT profiles, epics, my opinion is the best! All of the above. Huh, it's quite true. The slower the weapon is, the easier it is to maintain flurry. Since instants can proc flurry, and the ratio of instants, wide hips is much higher with a slow weapon. When you got the proc, the more you swing, the more it procs. The more damage you directly gain from that. That's some extreme DPS! So Flurry really kicks ass on a proc weapons in that regard. Then you've got the Arms Tree, which basically adds zero damage to a mace while teching an MS. Fucking Death Wish is a gigantic boost to your DPS and is great for scaling trinkets such as EBS bombs and jitter about a bunch of bullshit. You don't need trinkets. Extreme people don't use trinkets. You spec MS because MS is extreme. You fucking press one button. Bam, bitch. You number one DPS. Rogues be bitching. Oh, I get overpowered. Oh, what shall I do? You can fuck up and quit the game because I'm extreme. One button. One bullet, yeah! That's how it goes. I have around 2,000 attack power. This is pretty easy to achieve if you have gear like mine. MS with Hand of Rag would be around 930 damage. For a bloodthirst, only 900. Haha, <laughs> get that? So even without Flurry, you'd be approaching Arms DPS. <laughs> Fucking factor in Flurry and the 30% increased rage generation from it. Just get the hands out of it, really? You dumb fucker. You dumb motherfucker, you backing up! Cause I got orange in my bag. Orange, yeah! Oh, hey guys, I'm a big black man, I don't talk real slow because I eat hamburgers all day. <laughs> I recently made an orc warrior on a PvP server. I'm currently using a two-hand axe. <laughs> I haven't wasted gold on training for dual wield weapons, but I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. As far as PvP goes, what's best for pure DPS? Two-hand or dual wield? I'm going crazy here, motherfucker. Where are the burgers at, man? I'm fucking going out of this place. I haven't spec'd fucking... Oh, oh, I did actually train your wheel spec, but I'm level 60 and covered in epics. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Hey, my name's Rishka. I'm posted on pretty much every thread here now, because, you know, I'm extreme. You're a noob. You haven't even trained all of your specs. Go back to training camp, baby. Enough said. Get the fuck out. <laughs> That's basically the worry for. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much how I started. Lost it all. I'd hate the crow to do the whiny druid form. <laughs> Crap. That was amazing. We got no healers up. They all died. 
It was even funny. It was my next door neighbors looking through the window, seeing what I'm yelling about. <laughs> really? <laughs> They kept looking over because they're sitting out on the patio. Get a soul scan, I think. And you're just screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm extreme. Cause I'm extreme. <laughs> Kickflip 360. <laughs> CT profiles, bitch. I am Epics. I am the man. Hey, Donnie, you send those epic. three runes. Now they're on my alt. If you if you're in org, I'll send, I'll just trade you later. Go cool. if if you could get a copy to that me ASAP. Uh, okay. Hold on. Oh, mage trainer missed.